how to prepare and present a speech. I'm sure we've all thought about this in our life as Toastmasters. The very first thing that we need to do before we prepare a speech is to look at the manual. Now Toastmasters International have a tried and tested series of both leadership and communication manuals. On the communication side, they start with the Competent Communicator series, which are a series of 10 speeches. And then we go on to the Advanced Speakers series where you've got manuals with five speeches each. Now, it doesn't necessarily matter where you start in the manual, but it's a good idea, particularly in the Competent Communicator series of 10 speeches, to start with speech number one and to progress through to speech number 10. With the advanced speaker series, it's probably not as necessary to do that. So, I'm suggesting with the Competent Communicator series that you start with speech number one, which is breaking the ice, the icebreaker. And it's a fairly simple speech because it, you get to talk about yourself, and that's a subject that we all know intimately well. So we're very comfortable in speaking about ourselves for four to six minutes is all that's required in the icebreaker. My point here is that the first one is the icebreaker and then it goes on to the next one, whatever the next one is, and then each speech builds upon what you've learnt in the presentations that you've made from the previous speech. So it is a series that, that builds up. But what you've got to do is to look at the manual before you get your idea. The icebreaker is easy, but get to the next series of speeches. You might be talking about how to use visual aids or something like that. But once you know what your objectives are in the speech, you will then get an idea as to what you can talk about. And that's the important, the important steps are look at the manual first and then get your idea. Once you've got your idea, then you can form your speech with the opening body and conclusion. Now, in preparing a speech for five to seven minutes, which most, most of the speeches are, you probably need to prepare something which will fit in typewritten spaces on one and a half pages of A4 page and that's going to fit into your time frame. Now it's very important that you do get a speech with an opening body and conclusion which is going to fit in your, into your time frame, whether that be four to six minutes or usually it's five to seven minutes. And one of the traps that we as Toastmasters fall into is going over time. We don't normally go under time, so it's normally you're going to have to trim something off your speech in order to get it into that speech objective of five to seven minutes or the time objective. Now, one of the things that you know in Toastmasters is that you join this club, you pay, I think it's $120 to, to join, uh, uh, but that includes six months worth of subs. So it's a very cheap way to get an excellent education. However, as you progress through Toastmasters, I suggest to you that you invest, and I say invest, it's not an expense, invest in some more manuals. One of the sets of manuals that Toastmasters produces is this set here, which is the Better Speaking series. Now, I'm not sure, we've got about 10 manuals here, but there's a manual on beginning your speech. So Toastmasters have written everything that we need to know. Everything that I'm going to tell you tonight is included in all of these manuals. It's beginning your speech, concluding your speech, controlling your fear. Now there's a good one for uh, Toastmasters who have just joined the club. Controlling your fear might, might be the first one you want to talk about or read and, and get the ideas from. Selecting your topic. There's a booklet written on selecting your topic. So that, that if you've got no ideas, that tells you how to get your ideas. Know your audience, probably a little less about what I'm talking about tonight. Organising your speech, yes. Creating an introduction. 
Absolutely. Preparation and practice, and that's the next thing that I'm going to talk about. Once you, uh, the, sorry, the other ones are using body language and impromptu speaking, which probably aren't that relevant, but certainly preparation and practice. Once you have looked at your manual, got your idea, written a speech, you then need to practice that speech. Now, you can practice in front of a mirror at home, you can practice in front of your friends, your family, whoever you want to practice in front of. You can practice in front of other Toastmasters clubs. That's a great idea. You could join, an, you could join, you could all join Twilight Achievers and you could practice in front of Twilight Achievers. <laughs> but practice, practice, practice. The more you practice, when you get up here and present your speech, the more professional you will look. And that's very important in presenting speeches because you want to look professional. So it's all about practicing. As I mentioned the opening of a speech and how important the opening of a speech is. Here it is over here, beginning your speech. An opening needs to be impactful. Some of the ideas that come out of this little manual here are things like get the attention of the audience. So that's the first thing that you want to try to do. Something impactful, say something like, what I'm going to tell you tonight is going to knock your socks off. That's it. That gets the audience's attention. They, they want to listen to what you've got to say after you say something like that. It goes on and on. Uh, establish rapport, introduce the topic, arouse suspense or curiosity, which perhaps that, that opening does. Uh, other techniques, humour, audience participation, a demonstration, a reference to a historical event. There are so many ideas in there, just in that little one. I'm running out of time. I was going to talk about concluding your speech as well. There are a whole lot of ideas in concluding your speech. The body, of course, is just points, if you can remember your points. Now, some people tend to try to remember their, their whole speech verbatim. I don't do that. I tend to be a bit more off the cuff. But the problem with trying to learn your speech verbatim is that you may forget one part of it and then fall apart. Concluding your speech, the only thing I want to say about concluding your speech is bring the whole thing back to make sense from the opening. Thank you, Madam Tosh.